Hello guys. Let's make this animation in After Effects. Open After Effects. Take a new composition. The width and height is 2000 by 2000. We will make the background layer first. Go to Layer. New. Solid. I'll name it White Background. Duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard. I will rename this layer to Yellow BG. Now go to Effects and Presets. If you cannot see Effects and Presets option, go to Window and you'll find it here. Search Fill. Drag and drop this fill option on yellow BG layer. I'll give it a yellow color. This looks fine. OK. Now we want white background to appear on half screen and yellow background to appear on the other half. So to divide it into two, select the white background layer. Press P4 position. Give it zero value. Now go to yellow background layer, press P for position. Make it 2000. Now it has divided these two background layers in half. Let's lock both the background layers for now. Go to the project. We will import the PNG of the can and the mango. I have already saved these to transparent PNG files. Let's select both of them and import. Drag the mango PNG on the timeline. We will adjust its position here. Let's make more space here first. Zoom it in. I'll place it on the white side. Now we will rotate it a bit. Take the pan behind anchor point tool. Put the anchor point in the middle of these two backgrounds at the bottom. Now if we rotate the mango, it will rotate like this because the anchor point tool is at the bottom. Let's animate it now. Select the mango PNG layer. Press R for rotation. Make sure that the bar is on the first frame. Add a keyframe to the rotation. Zoom it in to see the keyframes. Move it to the 10th frame. And add rotation to it make it go left a bit. I think this looks fine now. Move the bar to 2 seconds. Add rotation to it make it move to the right. Now few keyframes forward. Make it a little bit towards the left. It will look like that the mango is bouncing towards left and then right.
If you think that the mango is moving too slow you can select these two keyframes and decrease the spacing between them. This looks good now. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. We want the mango to continue its movement. For that we are going to add an effect to the rotation. Place your mouse on the rotation keyframe and press Alt key. Copy paste this extension that is showing on the screen. This extension will make the mango to repeat the motion. Now add motion blur to it. Let's drag and drop the font to layer on the timeline. Place the can on top of the mango and rotate it. It should come on top of the mango layer. After adjusting the position of the can on top of the mango parent, the can layer to the mango layer by dragging this small spiral icon to the mango layer. Now can and mango will follow the same rotation. I'll add motion blur to this layer too. Let's make this layer panel bigger now. Remove the lock from both the background layers. Select the white background layer and make a duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. After that, place the wide background layer on top of the mango layer. Let's click on this icon it will expand the control panel options. Select the Mango PNG layer and change it from None to Alpha Matte White BG. Similarly make a copy of the yellow BG by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. Move it on top of the Can layer. Select the Can PNG layer and change it from None to Alpha Matte Yellow BG. Let's play the animation now. Good I'll turn on the motion blur effect on all the layers. This looks so good. Now let's add text to this animation. Take the text tool. Write your text here. Align text on the canvas. Align it vertically. Go to the character panel and increase the font of the text. Make choose life go to the next line. Or we can just cut it from this layer and make a new layer of choose life. Yes. This looks good now. Put it on the yellow area and color it white. Remove the stroke. Put choose your health on the white background. I'll remove your from this tagline, choose health, choose life sounds more good. Let's change the font of this text to bold italic.
We will apply the same font to choose life too. Let's increase the size of both of these fonts. This looks good. Let's see the animation now. Go to Effects and Presets. Animation Presets. Transition Wipes. Search Calm Shell here. Drag and drop Calm Shell on the Choose Health layer. After that apply the same Calm Shell effect to Choose Life. Now our last step is to apply shadow to both of these text layers. In effects and presets search drop shadow. Drag and drop it to choose health. Make the distance 10%. Good now drag and drop it on choose life layer. And make the distance 10%. Our animation is completed now, let's play it. If you have any curious regarding it you can ask me in the comment section do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video.